Hello, Recraft AI allows you to create ultra realistic images, vector graphics, icons, or logos, and you can even create mockups from any image. Go to recraft.ai and create free account. Then you'll have to select plan. Free plan allows you to create up to 50 images daily without any quality limitations. This default project will be automatically opened once you selected your plan. Additional credits can be earned if you invite your friends. You can earn up to 4,000 credits in this way. I'll delete all the unnecessary objects by selecting them and pressing backspace. Here are different features for creating and editing images. Here is basic image generation option. You can see and edit image dimensions here or drag different sides of this frame. Hold control button to change aspect ratio. Corners of the image can be rounded. By increasing this value, you'll increase border radius. There are plenty of different styles and models. You can see two types of models, V3 and 20B. V3 is newer. Some models are available in both variations. You can filter models by styles. There are not only models for creating raster images, but also you can generate scalable vector images. Here are all the realistic models available. And whole bunch of illustration models. Here are special models for creating icons and five models for generating logos in different styles. Okay, I'll select some realistic model. For example, Blossom Globe. I'll replace this default prompt with my own. Add your negative prompt here to exclude from images unnecessary objects. For example, I don't want to see animals on my images. Here you can define exact colors you want to include in your pictures. There are some random palettes. You can choose colors one by one and create your own palette or just select some image from your device to create palette from it. Aspect ratio and number of images you can get at once is locked on to if you use free account. Here are my images. This time I'll specify that this is blonde British girl and she is wearing white hoodie and glasses. Result is just perfect. Okay, and I wanna add my own color palette. My idea is to get brighter colors because by default, this model generated a little bit too dark pictures. And I specified that I want to make girl look happy this time. As you can see, images perfectly match my prompt and palette. And for the next couple of images, I'll change palette to imported from image. I use this previously generated picture in Recraft. I'll use enterprise model for this generation. Images became more cinematic after applying this palette. And one more time, all the same settings, but model will be studio photo. There are some exotic plants, but you can see that this shot was taken indoors. Of course, you can not only create portraits, but for example, images with animals. My prompt is dog on the grass. Okay, look at this interesting situation. The model I use is realistic, prompt is correct, color palette just can't affect image style in this way. I selected another model for next generation. And look at negative prompt, which is left from my previous attempts to create portraits. The negative prompt excluded animals from images, but as soon as I specified in my prompt that I want to see dog on my pictures, Generator decided to create drawings of dogs, so technically there are no real animals on these images, just some drawings of them. I deleted negative prompt and generated images match my prompt now. I'll change aspect ratio, delete custom palette, and select motion blur model. In this case, it looks like the photographer is moving rapidly around the dog. Here are color adjustments, so you can change color settings of the generated images. Fine tune is image to image option. Here you can set similarity strength between original image and generated ones. Model can be the same or you can choose any other model. Of course, any prompt, negative prompt, and palettes can be used. You can see that image is really close to the original one. Okay, I'll increase similarity to almost identical and change model. Pose of the dog is almost the same and Variate feature has only one adjustment. It is for creating variations of the images, but with different aspect ratio. But I personally don't use this option because there's no similarity strength adjustment and so on. For next generated images, I'll use illustration model. For example, young adult book. There will be two images with horizontal aspect ratio. Here are some hands on the first image and second one is better, but looks a little bit more primitive. Okay, now my prompt is boy running in the park and model will be prism aura. There are some obvious issues with hand and face. Second image doesn't have such problems, but there is some phantom fence. Models that I previously used don't have this adjustment, but here you can define how detailed images must be. Here is how look images with high level of details. There are just little imperfections. All the images I generated here so far were raster images. So now I'll open vector art models and I'll select emotional flat. Prompt will be the same. These images are in SVG format. Here you can change number of colors. These images can be saved as PNG or JPG, for example, after reducing number of colors. And I wanna try sunburst pop model. Pretty good result. I'll change amount of details and generate another couple of images, but also I want to apply some palette. I'll select one of these random palettes and change some colors. 
Colors are completely different from previous generation and there's little bit more details. Fine tune option can be used with vector images too, but I'll select some raster model for example clay. Prompt is the same similarity as on remarkably similar. Okay, images still look two dimensional because of high similarity value. I decreased it and tried again. Yes, now the objects on the images look like they made of clay. There are additional ways to create images. You can get set of six images at once. After clicking on image set option, you'll see this placeholder for six images. You can enter different prompt for each image while model Model will be one for all of them. Another option is mockup. Here is special model for creating images of products. I want to create pink cup of tea. Now I'll put this previously created picture over my mockup image. After short loading process, my picture is ready to be added to different surfaces. Yes, it isn't perfect. The cup of tea should be more rounded, but this tool is useful if you want to quickly estimate how some branding elements will look on different objects. You can make overlaying image transparent or leave it as is. Click on repeat to create pattern from this image and mirror to flip vertically every second line of the pattern. By adding mask, you can disable mock-up option on the selected parts of the image. I masked part of the plate, so now when I overlay my picture over this area, it adds only to the cup or other unmasked objects. When you are happy with the result, you can rasterize this image, so it will be turned into still picture. If you want to continue editing, click here or Control z But you can also create mock-up from any image. You just have to upload it here, and then create mock-up from it. Now I can place this picture over people's clothes, or even their faces. Don't forget to use masking so the mock-up won't affect unnecessary objects. The next option I want to show you is frame. The next tool I want to show you is frame. But first, I'll generate new image. I want to create pictures of medieval knight in 3D cartoon style. I'll use soft abstract model for this. Second image is better, so I'll use it. Frame tool is for adding text and stylizing it with AI. Image should be inside this frame. Then I'll add text to the empty area here. Here you can change font size. And here is my simple text. I'll place it in the center. Recraft text feature should be turned on. If you turn it off, you won't be able to stylize it. After adding text, select frame and choose model to generate new images. I selected the same model I used for creating this image and my prompt will be 3D lettering. It just generated additional parts of the image inside frame, but there's no text because this model is 20B and doesn't support text stylization. So I'll select some newer V3 realistic model and make second attempt. Now it works. There's missing exclamation point and white background behind the letters, but not bad at all. You can get different results with different models. I added words gothic and neon to my prompt. This time I'll use clay for example. Okay, this time there are no problems with the background. Clay model probably can't generate neon lights and there are no significant changes in the font after I added word gothic. So probably you can't define fonts you wanna get using prompt. I'll try to partially overlay text on the image. And this time I'll use some other realistic model. Now text is glowing as I specified in the prompt. I don't know how to get rid of this text background that doesn't match original image. So let me know in the comments if you found way how to make this part of image more predictable. Don't forget that you can add images from your device by dragging and dropping them here or use image uploading button. Here you can see modify area option also known as in painting. It is helpful if you want to edit some objects on your picture. For example, I'll replace helmet with a crown. I used soft abstract model for creating original image and use it now with in painting. Click on this bucket button to disable selection. You can see that modified area is added to the original image seamlessly. But what if I want to add some flowers to the green plants Almost nothing changed because modify area tool works good when you want to change some already existing object on the image. You can try to erase unnecessary objects from your image. Brush over the thing you want to remove and click erase. Eraser works in the same way as in other common image generators. I guess it even doesn't use AI. Here is background remove option which works better when image has recognizable object on the foreground. Perfect. Okay, I'll undo previous action and show you the change background tool. It has recognized the background first, and now I can create some other background for this image. I wanna create some realistic forest on the background, which will be contrasting to the foreground. I like the atmosphere. Image of any type can be vectorized with this feature. Look at number of colors. There are so many colors because of realistic background. Don't forget that you can decrease number of colors, and get interesting effects or use different palettes. There are some random palettes and you can create your own. Click here to reset color adjustments. Okay, I'll undo image vectorizing. Clarity upscale makes your image larger, a little bit sharper and clearer. Upscale works really good here. All the details are very smooth and sharp enough. You can save any image from the artboard. Right click on the image and you'll see two options, JPG and PNG. Also, if there are two or more overlaying images, you can arrange them by using send to back and bring to front. I'll show you how to see all the generated images in the end of the video. You can not only generate illustrations and photorealistic images, but there is a bunch of models for creating icons in different styles.
My prompt will be European city. Great. And this time I want to create smiling emoji. First picture is really good. Okay, and I'll generate image with cat, but I'll select another model. I want to try doodle. Perfect. Every model has its default colors, but don't forget that you can add your own palettes. And of course you can create a set of six images at once, which is useful if you have to generate lots of icons. And there are special models for creating logos. Here are a few different styles you can choose from. I'll use Pop Emblem, for example. I'll describe what I want to get. Okay, these logos don't look like logos of some IT company. I'll specify that logo should be minimalistic, a little bit better this time. And Vintage Emblem model so you'll see the difference. All these logos need significant improvements to use them as branding for some real company. But Recraft can help if you want to brainstorm different ideas. But if you really like logo that you generated here, you can vectorize it and try different color schemes without any additional services. You can not only use existing models with existing styles, but also create your own. Open the models list and click on create style. You can give name to your style and add up to five images you want to use as reference. I'll add three kind of realistic pictures I created in completely free AI image generator Piclumen AI. I have a video about it. Category of your custom style will be defined automatically, but you can change it. I'll give better name to my style. You can test your style by creating some picture here. Prompt will be cute red panda. Result looks great. Click add to my style so it will be ready to use. My prompt is girl in the forest. Okay, character is too far from the camera, so face is a little bit creepy. And I want to see a little bit older person. Also, I mentioned flying jellyfishes. Okay, but I want to see close up portraits. So I added corresponding words to the prompt and now result is better. Images will become even better if I add negative prompt. And aspect ratio will be vertical. Of course you can create whatever you want, even things that weren't depicted on the reference images. And now I'll create custom anime style. Here are reference images. Automatically recognized style category is illustration. I'll test this style here. Prompt is cute red panda. It's really cute. Okay, I'll add this style and I'll try to create images of astronaut. Faces are unclear because of helmet. Now I replaced astronaut with guy in the forest. Style of the faces is similar to this reference picture. Third example is 3D cartoon or kind of Pixar style. Here are reference images. Don't forget that all the styles are public on the free account. I'll use the same prompt and result is impressive. Okay, and knight in golden armor. So this option works as custom style preset to some base recraft model. I guess that this base model is selected with the style category. And of course, don't forget that you can additionally describe the style you want to get in the prompt. You can see all the generated images in the History tab. Click on any image to see its generation info. 